Good afternoon, YouTube. What's going on? It's Mesa back at it with some Destiny 2. All right, folks, time to go over the weekly reset for the week of May 15th. All the new activities to do within Destiny. But before that, we have a hotfix to read as we're flying into the tower. Hotfix 1.2.0.2. I'm just going to read this off. Inventory. Emblems introduced in Season 3 are now visible within the Emblem Collection for all players. Fix an issue where some players could not equip the Shadow Dance emote. Vendors, they fixed an issue where the gunsmith was not selling legendary modifications to players who did not own Expansion 2. Strikes, they fixed an issue with the Heroic Strike playlist would sometimes launch players into Vanguard Strikes. Crucible, players can no longer summon sparrows on Meltdown. Fixed an issue where Iron Banner ornaments were receiving progress from alternate Crucible playlists. The Raid, the Contender Shell perk Seeker of Brilliance, now properly grants Season 3 Prototype Engrams. It was incorrectly granting Season 2 Illuminated Engrams. Sandbox, fixed an issue where Rat King was incorrectly granting ammo to alternate weapons. Destiny Companion API, fixed an issue where players were unable, were unable to interact with their characters or inventory on Bungie.net. General, fixed an issue causing frame rate issues on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 4 Pro. Alright, let's get into the weekly reset. The Nightfall Strike this week is called Strange Terrain. That's one of the new Warmind Strikes. And hopefully you went to see Zur over on Friday and traded in your rare challenge card into the new Five of Swords legendary card where you could put all sorts of modifiers. You could put two advantages and two disadvantages to change up your scoring. For the weekly milestones, we see something new. Nascent Dawn. Talk to Anna Bray in the Bray Tech Futurescape to retrieve a special data module. I get a feeling that's one of the next steps for the Polaris Lance quest. Hopefully it is. Nightfall, cover that already, you get powerful gear. Leviathan, you can do the raid, raid lair, or the new raid lair and get powerful gear. Call to arms, just win glory in participating in crucible matches, you will get powerful gear. And also the weekly featured crucible mode is doubles. Clan XP, just go do 5,000 XP on each character, and each character can get powerful gear. The flashpoint this week is Mars. Just do public events on Mars, and you will get powerful gear. Heroic strikes, complete three heroic strikes, and you will get powerful gear. Don't forget on Mars, you've got Escalation Protocol, 380 power, and at the end, it is 400. I think I might stream this week again at some point, either later today or tomorrow. Probably want to power up first, but I definitely want to get a nine-man team in there and try to actually complete it this week. For the Prismatic Matrix, we've got some new items here. We've got the popcorn emote. I've seen a lot of people uh, using this one on me in the Crucible. I want that one. I've got the other new ones, but not that one. We've got a new ornament for the Vigilance Wing called Heaven's Vigil, and that looks epic. I hope, hopefully, I can get that soon. We've got a uh, chess piece, chess piece, chess piece. We've got a sparrow. We've got the celebratory dance, another sparrow, ghost shell, and the air quotes emote. Checking in with Tess Everest, she's got the Mida Multi-Tool Ornament called Mida Tactical. We've got an ornament for the Suros Regime, if you want to see what it looks like. Kind of looks like the old Suros. I actually just bought it. It's pretty cool. Alright, we've got boots. We've got a ghost shell. These will uh, actually drop with random perks. We got an exotic ship here. I got this last week, and I don't like it. It's too small. I got the uh, Vanguard Reaching Rank 50 exotic ship last night. We got another ship. We've got a Sparrow. We've got uh, the Grooving Dance. We've got uh, the celebratory dance, and this is one of the new Warmind. All right, that's kind of silly. I'm not buying that. We got gold beam effects. We've got the Cabal arrival, uh, Xeno Silver, a Dawn and Dusk, Metro Shift. I like Metro Shift. That's one of my favorite shaders. Arctic Pearl, and then the usual boons here. I typically only buy these things here. Benedict99 is selling some new stuff here. Well, actually, one new item. He's selling the chess piece for the new Spire of Stars raid lair. And with the ornament on, that looks really, really cool, actually. All right, so he's got the helmet for Eater of Worlds. We've got uh, regular Leviathan gloves, regular Leviathan boots. There's the Spire of Stars chess piece. We've got the class item for the Leviathan and the raid lair Argos, the uh, Eater of Worlds shotgun. This is full auto. It's a pretty fun shotgun. You've got threat detector. You can go with pulse monitor or auto loading holster, corkscrew rifling, barrel shroud, a rifle barrel, and as I said, this is full auto. It's a fun shotgun. I don't know. I, I kind of compare it to the Hawthorne's Fields Fort shotgun and tend to go with that shotgun over this one. But that's a pretty good shotgun. If you uh, complete the raid lair and don't get that, you can come back and buy it. So anyway, that's it, guys. Uh, do me a favor. Leave me a hashtag made it to the end if you did make it to the end. And do me a favor. Drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter at MesaShawn. Check out my stream. Usually and always on YouTube. And that's it. I'm out of here like Vladimir.